In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. If you were to keep watch over our sins, O Lord, who could stand? Yet with you is forgiveness, and so we confess. Gracious God, have mercy on us. We confess that we have turned away from you knowingly and unknowingly. We have wandered from the, your resurrection life. We have strayed from your love for all people. Turn us back to you, O God. Give us new hearts and right spirits that we may find what is pleasing to you and dwell in your house forever. Amen. God turns to you in love. I will put my spirit in you and you shall live, says the Lord. All your sins are forgiven and in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the free and abiding love of God's grace for you. Amen. We continue with the gathering hymn. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and also with you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen.
of the day. Thanks be to you, Lord Christ, most merciful Redeemer, for the countless blessings and benefits you give. May we know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day, praising you with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The first reading comes to us from 1 Samuel chapter 3, beginning with verse 1. Now the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord in the presence of Eli, and the word of the Lord was rare in those days. There was no frequent vision. At that time, Eli, whose eyesight had begun to grow dim so that he could not see, was lying down in his own place. The lamp of God had not gone out yet, and Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called Samuel and he said, Here I am, and ran to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call you, lie down again. So he went and lay down. And the Lord called again, Samuel. And Samuel rose and went to Eli and said, here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call you, my son. Lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, and the word of the Lord had not been revealed to him. And the Lord called Samuel a third time. And he arose and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. Then Eli perceived that the, perceived that the Lord was calling the boy. Therefore Eli said to Samuel, Go lie down. And if he calls you, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. And the Lord came and stood, calling as at other times, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak, for your, ser your servant hears. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The second reading today comes to us from 1 Corinthians chapter 6 beginning with verse 12. All things are lawful for me, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful for me, but will not be dominated by anything. Food is meant for the stomach and the stomach for food. And God will destroy both one and the other. The body is not meant for sexual immorality, but for the Lord and the Lord for the body. God raised the Lord and will also raise us by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them members of a prostitute? <coughs> Never. Or do you not know that he will, who is joined to a prostitute becomes one body with her? For as it is written, the two will become one flesh. But he who is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Flee from the sexual immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body. But the sexual, immoral person sins against his own body. Or you, do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 1, verses 43 through 51. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him 
and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered him, Because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of our Lord. When I was growing up, my brother and I were raised by my grandmother and aunt. But it was my stern German grandmother, Clara, who ruled the roost. She also was the one who made sure we went to Sunday school and church. We could miss a Sunday no matter how much we wanted to sleep in. For several years, we were given awards by the church for attending 52 Sundays in a row. So she, and later my campus pastor in college, are the two persons responsible for me being here today, speaking to you. In reality, it is likely that most of you who have had family members or someone close to you are the reason you come to our virtual worship service today. In our gospel reading, we learn how Jesus began forming his ministry by calling on persons around him to come and see. He gathered disciples to walk alongside him as he started to teach them about a new way of living that would change the world and prepare them to be his voice when he had to lead them to go to the cross. We gather even today to live in our call to be little Christ for another. Jesus starts with Andrew and Peter, who were brothers. And then the next day, Jesus traveled to Galilee and found Philip, who in turn found Nathanael. Now, Nathanael at first was skeptical of this man called Jesus. With a lot of citizen he, citizen, he declared, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip didn't argue with him, but simply invites him, Come and see. This, my friends, is the simple response. We can offer those skeptical about what Jesus would mean for our lives. It is an invitation that leaves open for them the opportunity to encounter Jesus on their own terms and with their own questions. Some people I've seen have a bad experience in church as a younger person, and they find it difficult come back. Others, others may have had a troubled past and wonder if they're worthy of coming to church. When Nathaniel comes to meet Jesus the next day, Jesus remembers seeing Nathaniel before 
underneath a, a, a fig tree. And he declares, Nathaniel is a man without deceit. And Nathaniel replies, You are the Son of God, the King of Israel. So, we today gather many, many generations later as people who are called to share the good news that Jesus lives even today in the hearts of those who are willing to proclaim a faith in a living God who cares for all people of every race and clan. And nothing, nothing at all, can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. This weekend and on Monday, we celebrate the life of a great man of faith who came to break down the barriers that divide us from one another, and especially the sin of racism. As we continue to seek the dream Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave the world, and in the midst of the struggle to stay together today as a nation, we hear his words. <clears throat> Everybody can be great because anybody can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You don't have to make your subject and verb to serve. You only need a heart full of grace and a soul generated by love. And finally, <clears throat> as we move to the inauguration of a new president next week, this advice, advice. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do it. We must learn to live together as brothers and sisters or perish together as fools. Guided by Christ, made known to the nations, let us offer our prayers for the church, the world, and all people in need. For the body of Christ gathered throughout the world, and for all servants of the gospel, that following Jesus, the church lives out its calling every day. For the well-being of creation, for plants and animals, and for all that God has marvelously made, that we serve as wise stewards of earth our home. For police officers and firefighters, for attorneys and paralegals, for peacekeepers and military personnel, and for the leaders of governments, that they provide protection to all people, especially the most vulnerable. For those lacking food or shelter, for those who are sick or grieving, and for those who are imprisoned or homebound, that God console all who suffer. For our neighborhood, for visitors joining us for the first time or returning, and for the absent from our assembly, that all who seek to know God are nourished by word and sacrament. In thanksgiving for the saints who have gone before, that their lives give us vision, that li their lives give us a vision of the gospel in action. Merciful God, hear the prayers of your people, spoken or silent, for the sake of one of the one who dwells among us, 
your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always and also with you. We continue with the offertory. and merciful. You bring forth food from the earth and nourish your whole creation. Turn our hearts toward those who hunger in any way, that all may know your care, and prepare us now to feast on the bread of life, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior, Jesus Christ, who on this day overcame death and the grave, and by his glorious resurrection, open to us the way of everlasting life. And so, with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the host of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Blessed are you, Lord of heaven and earth. In mercy for our fallen world, you gave your only Son, that all those who believe in him should not perish, but have eternal life. We give thanks to you for the salvation you have accomplished for us through Jesus Christ. Send now your Holy Spirit into our hearts, that we may receive our Lord with a living faith, as he comes to us in his holy supper. Amen. In the night in which he was betrayed, Jesus took bread and gave thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, he gave thanks, and he gave it for all to drink, saying, The cup, this cup is a new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forget those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Come to the banquet for all is now ready. The body of Christ given for you. The blood, the blood of Christ shed for you. For those not receiving the elements, 
please receive this blessing. God is with you, blessing you to do the right thing and blessing you through that. Be strong in the Lord. The body and precious blood of Jesus Christ, our Savior, strengthen and keep you in his grace. Amen. With this bread of life and cup of salvation, you have united us with Christ, making us one with all your people. Now send us forth in the power of your spirit that we may proclaim your redeeming love to the world and continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now, Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. We continue with the sending hymn. Serve the Lord. 